hand upon thine eyes. And Jacob rose up from Beersheba, and the sons of Israel carried Jacob their father and their little ones and their wives in the wagons which Pharaoh had sent to carry him. And they took their cattle and their goods which they had gotten in the land of Canaan and came into Egypt, and Jacob and all his seed with them. All right? That's where we became a nation. Man. We went down into Egypt, man. All right? And we had a major influence on that place. I'm going to show you some pictures of um, the place where we sojourned at. Now, I don't know if all these monuments was there when we got there. We built some of them. You know what I'm saying? But I just want to show you some images that you may have seen in your past lives when you actually went down into Egypt. All right? These are some pyramids. And I'm going to read the scriptures where it say we built stuff like this in Egypt. All right? In the past, we probably looked at these things uh, front hand, first hand. These are images of Egypt where we became a nation there. All right? Monuments like this. Okay? This is the type of stuff they had us building for them, for monuments. And we went down up in there and served slavery. All right. Matter of fact, let me tell you what some of these images are. This is the Great Sphinx of uh, Giza that I showed you. Um, they said it was built in the Fourth Dynasty. I also showed you one of the colossal statues of Amenhotep the Third. All right, you got Negroes running around talking about Hotep. Hotep ain't do nothing but put you in slavery. And also showed you the temple of Dair al-Bari, built by Queen Hatshepsut, um, one of the greatest monuments of the 18th dynasty. All right, then I showed you the, the statue. This is the statue of Ramses II. All right, now let me read you this real quick. Jump to Exodus quick. It says this. Um, Exodus 1. And seven, and the children of Israel were fruitful. Matter of fact, I'm gonna start at um four. I mean five. And all the souls that came out of the loins of Jacob were seventy souls, for Joseph was in Egypt already, because um our forefathers, the progenitors of our tribes, the brothers of Joseph, they sold him into slavery. They sold him into slavery. They sold him into slavery because they was basically uh, envious of him because he was having these dreams and um, basically saying that he was going. They, they took it as he was trying to say he was going to rule over them one day. You know what I'm saying? But the, the scriptures tell you that the Most High set that up so um, we could be um, preserved as a people. But this is going into our slavery in Egypt. Exodus 1, 5. It's um, 6. And Joseph died and all his brethren and all that generation. And the children of Israel were fruitful and increased abundantly and multiplied and waxed their seed and might. And the land was filled with them. Now there arose up a new king um, over Egypt, which knew not Joseph. Now it's a lot of speculation on who that, um, who that Pharaoh was. But even the, even the modern day scholars admit that they don't know. I'm going to call out a couple names. Uh, who it, you know who it could have been, or who the scholars say it could have been? Um, these are a couple of names that they've thrown out there on who the pharaoh was when we left out of Egypt. Nefertiti one is a possibility. Tom Tael Toth is a possibility. Um, Kanak Rai is when they propose. Uh, Amen Amat the fourth is also proposed. Menren Ray Nam Timasaf the second is proposed. Uh, these are Egyptian pharaohs that they say could have been the pharaohs when we left out of Egypt. Dudamos the first, Amenhotep the second, um, and I've also heard proposed that it was Atmose. Because if you look at the Atmose Estelle, they say that um, he talks about how the land was darkened and the plagues was uh, 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 
brought up on this. This guy, the naked archaeologist, did a um, documentary. It's called The Exodus Decoded. It came on the History Channel, and it, you know, it, everything he brought out seemed seemed pretty on point to me. But you know, you could be the judge and watch it for yourself. But he said on the utmost stele that they so-called found that it spoke about basically everything, the, the 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 things that happened in uh, Egypt when we was leaving out. So you could check that documentary out. The Exodus Decoded. All right, the History Channel produced it, and it's by the Naked Archaeologist. Now, he goes off and says that the tribes are different people around the world. He goes off. But like I said, this Exodus Decoded documentary seemed to be pretty much on point. But, you know, you can judge however you want to judge that matter. All right. So, Atmose might have been the Pharaoh, but we don't, we don't really know who the Pharaoh was. Some people say it was Ramses. You know, that's up in the air. All right. He goes on to say this. Now there arose up a new king over Egypt, which knew, and it was a different king that brought it, put us into slavery too. All right, more than like. And he said unto the people, Behold, the people of the children of Israel are more and mightier than we. And I'm going to go over some names they, they put on us when we was down in Egypt. The Hyksos, the Shashu. Come on, let us deal wisely with them, lest they multiply. And it come to pass... That when there falleth out any war and join also unto our enemies. And um, I'm sorry, let me read that again. Come, let us deal wisely with them, lest they multiply and it come to pass that when there falleth out any war, they join also unto our enemies and fight against us, and so get them up out of the land. Therefore did they set over them taskmasters to afflict them and their burdens, and they built for Pharaoh treasure cities, Pithom and, uh, and Ramesses. But the more they afflicted them, the more they multiplied and grew, and they were grieved because of the children of Israel. Yeah, because we, we was in Egypt doing great things, just like we in America doing great things, man. You can, you, 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 if you take a camera and follow around some Jakes, you would think that we was the kings over here. You follow around LeBron James for a day. You follow around Michael Jackson for a day, if he was still alive. You follow around fucking Al Sharpton and Cleflo Dollar for a day. You would think we was doing fine in America. But if you follow around average Jakes in the projects that's poor that ain't got nothing that work in McDonald's, you would you would you would think, damn, them people ain't doing too good. Alright? So just like over here, some of us in Israel was doing bad, some of us was doing good. Cause the scripture tell you that um Moses was was mighty and well respected in Egypt. He grew up in the in the in the Pharaoh's house. Alright, so some Jakes was doing just fine. But uh, but the um the low level Jakes was getting afflicted by these taskmasters that Pharaoh set over us. Alright? And you niggas that's calling yourself Egyptologists, Egyptologists, you was among them slaves that was getting afflicted. So you need to stop calling yourself Egyptians and saying hotep to one another. You going off. Um Matter of fact, let me read this. To prove that we ain't no damn Egyptians. This is the Exodus 11 and 7. But against the children of Israel shall not a dog move his tongue, against man or beast, that ye may know how that the Lord doth put a difference between the Egyptians and Israel. And we're Israel. We're Hebrews. All right, the Lord put a difference between us. It don't matter what your, 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 your vain opinion tells you, because you can't get your mind out of that Egyptian captivity. All right, you're not Egyptian. And, uh, and this guy right here, he ain't your people neither. Because you love thinking that he's your people. Alright? His brothers are the Egyptians. Our brothers ain't no Egyptian. Alright? Point blank. Alright? Because we come out of Shem. Egypt is the land of Ham. Let me read that for you real quick. Out of the scriptures. This is on um, Psalms. There's two I want to bring out. Let me get the first one. Psalms 105 and um twenty-three. Israel also came into Egypt, and Jacob sojourned in the land of Ham, and he increased his people greatly and made them stronger than their enemies. Alright, so 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 they are enemies, man. The hell you want to be Egyptian for? What you want to be your enemy for? You got Stockholm syndrome, that's why. You love your oppressor. 